We're going to start by laying flat down on your mat or floor. Okay. You're going to extend your arms and or the ball onto the floor above your head. We're going to start with some deep inhales. And on your exhale, I want you to stretch that ball as far away from your head as possible. Deep breath in, filling up the lungs. And on your exhale, pull the toes and the ball as far apart as you can. I want you to do a few more of these deep breaths on your own. Each time you exhale, stretching the arms a little further away from the head, elongating the spine, opening up the core. Let's do two more. Good, once you're done with that, take a nice deep breath in. On your exhale, slowly raise this ball right above your chest. So if you don't have a ball, the arms are nice and perpendicular to your body. While we're here, let's do some shoulder retractions. So you're going to retract the shoulders and then stretch up. Back and then forth or down, up. Meanwhile, we're fully engaging the abs, fully squeezing the glutes, and we're just opening up the chest and the shoulders. Five, six, seven. I want you to stretch the ball as high as you can and retract the shoulders at the very same time. We're also pointing the feet, and in doing so, we're getting a nice little stretch through the arms, chest, shoulders, and legs. On my cue, you're gonna tuck the chin in and you're gonna come into a seated position, okay? In five, six, seven, tuck, one, two, three. Stop right at the top. What I'm looking for is a pretty vertical line from your hips into your shoulders through the fingertips into the ball. You're going to do that by squeezing your glutes pulling your body forward, and really pulling the ball or stretching the ball up to the ceiling. Good, while we're here, tap the ball to the head, or you can tap the fingertips to the head. Each time you do that, think about pulling the elbows down toward the sides of the body, up, down, good, really squeeze through the upper back, your shoulder blades, good. Hold the ball up above the head while pulling the shoulders down. Take a few deep breaths here. On every exhale, just cleansing the body, cleansing the mind. On my cue, you're gonna lower your arms so that they're parallel to your legs. Five, six, seven, lower, down, two, three, excellent. So your back is still pretty flat and vertical. Your arms are stretched out so that they're parallel with the floor and your legs. The ball is reached as far away from your chest as possible. Good, retract the shoulders. Inhale, tap the ball to the chest. Exhale, push away. Good, nice and easy. We wanna keep the elbows super high on the line of the shoulders, squeezing through the shoulder blades. Your abs are fully engaged the whole time. Good, hold the ball of your fingertips to the chest. Pull those elbows out nice and wide. Stay tall. Good, on my cue, you're gonna stretch this ball back out. You're gonna flex your ankles and we're gonna set the ball on our toes. Six, seven, flex, hinge, and place that ball right on your toes. Now when you get there, I want you to round the back. Tuck the chin in, round the back, and stretch those arms as long as possible. Releasing that spine, engaging the abs. Now let's pick up the chin, flatten the back, and take the chest into the legs. You're gonna feel a nice hamstring stretch there. Fingertips are still on the ball. Hold. Two, three, four. 
Let's go ahead and slowly roll back up. Arms go back to parallel for one, two, three. Arms go back up for five, six, seven. We're going to tuck the chin and we're going to roll down to the mat, vertebrae by vertebrae. For five, six, seven. Now we release the arms. One, two, three, and gently set the ball on the floor. Take a few of those deep breaths right here. Inhale to fill the lungs. Exhale to relax the body. Inhale to send oxygen to the muscles. Exhale to relax. All right, let's go through that sequence another time. Okay, arms first in five, six, seven. We lift. One, two, three, tuck and raise, five, six, seven, bring the ball down, one, two, retract those shoulders, hinge for five, six, the back starts rounded, now reverse it, and round, reverse, Come on back up, up, two, three. Okay, hold it here. You're still engaging those abs, squeezing those glutes. We're just gonna lower ourselves about half way down into like a 45 degree angle. When we get there, I'll let you know what you're gonna do. <laughs> so take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, pull your body back about 45 degrees. Here, I want you to open up the chest, retract the shoulders, and keep the chin tucked in. Okay. We're gonna use this right leg. Lift to tap the ball. Keep the lean in the upper back. Good, if you need to modify, you can raise this leg into tabletop, or you can just bend the knee. Good, give me four more, so keep the shoulders retracted. Point through that foot. We're engaging upper and lower abs. Very nice, guys. Can we speed it up? For eight. Seven shoulders back. Six, keep the load on the core. Four. Three. Two, lift and hold the connection. Keep that ball right on your knee. We're going to turn it up a notch. Light fingers on your ball, reach up, roll down. So I want you to pick up the leg, pick up the upper body, and roll that ball up and down the leg. Good. Four more. Four, how far back can you lay? Three, how high up can you raise your legs? Two, one more. After one, gently roll down. Release the arms and the ball. Take a few more of those deep breaths. Hope you're feeling good about that. So good that you can do it on the other side. <laughs> Let's try it. Tuck the chin. Roll up to about halfway. When you get there, retract the shoulders. Let's try the left. One. Good. Make the arms as long as possible. Keep the arms parallel to the floor. Retract the shoulders. We have four more at this slow pace. Four. Really think about where you want the stress to be. You want it in the front, in the abs, not the lower back. Let's go double time. Eight. Seven. Really try to make that connection. Knee to ball. Four. Three, two, maintain the connection. Hold it, pointing through the foot. Light fingertips on your ball. Let's roll for eight. Seven. Six. Five, keep the shoulders back. Four, good. Three. Two to go, guys. Two, 
We're going to roll out after one. Good. Expand those abs. Bring the elbows out to the side. Deep breath in. On the exhale, release all that stress. Release all that tension. You guys have one more in you? That's a rhetorical question. Of course you do. You're built for this. <laughs> all right. Let's start from the beginning. We're going to raise the arms, tuck the chin, and raise the body. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three. Half raise. Five, six, seven. Bring the ball down. I'm going to give you a few options here. The option I'd really like to see is the lifting of both legs. And if not, you can alternate. You can also tap your knees or keep your feet on the floor. Hold it. Ready? Two leg lift. Let's go. Up and down. Two. Good. Three. Come on, let's make it to eight. Four. Remember your modifications. We have five or we have six. Okay? Either one you choose, just give me 100%. Can we hold the connection for eight? Seven, six, five, you know what's coming. Let's roll. Roll up and down. Two, down. Three, we have four to go. Stay with me. If you're bent knee, you're five. If the knees stay to here, you're six. But if you're straight legs, seven, one more, eight, and relax. Open up the core, open up the chest. Breathe through whatever strain you're feeling right now. While you're doing that, we're gonna move this ball down the body into the uh, inner thighs in between the knees. Again, if you don't have a ball, just set your body up in a bridge position, which means bent knees, flat feet, your feet should be a hip width apart. Your heels should be planted to the floor and your upper body is rested. Just to kind of keep our hands out of trouble, I suggest laying on them. All right, so if you have a ball, you're gonna squeeze this ball tightly throughout this entire motion. What we're going to do is squeeze the glutes and while we're squeezing, we're gonna raise these hips into a bridge, okay? A shoulder bridge. You're going to come down and you're going to come so far down that your glutes actually touch the mat. Let's try that. How about eight counts? How about it? Five, six, seven, we go up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, at the top, come down. Two, nice and slow, five, six, Seven, bring it up, squeeze the ball this time. Really keep those glutes and inner thighs engaged. Come on down, two, three, four, five, six. How about four counts? Squeeze up, two, three, bring it down. Now each time you raise the hips, your goal is to push the hips up to the highest point. We want to keep the glutes fully squeezed and engaged so that the workout doesn't skip over the glutes and hamstrings and skip onto the back. That can happen if you don't really focus in. Up, two, three. Let's speed it up for two counts. Squeeze. Up, two, down, two. Up, you got this. Squeeze. I want you to raise those hips until you no longer see creases in your pants. Up, two, yeah, even force on the right and the left side. Up, two, good, keep your heels flat. Try singles. Up, two, three, four, good, five, six, Seven, hold it up after eight. I want you to squeeze that ball 
If you don't have a ball, just angle your knees in, squeeze your inner thighs together. You're gonna feel a nice little contraction in your inner thighs. Hold it here. Hold. Okay, give me a little pulse for eight, seven, squeeze, six, five, four, three, two. On your exhale, come down. Bring the knees into your chest. Let's stretch out the glutes and then you can elongate your legs. Stretch out your hamstrings, okay? All right, come back down into bridge position. We're gonna extend our right leg straight up, right? So the, the leg is just a nice straight line where the bottom half of your uh, leg is continued from the top half. So we're not gonna pull this leg low. We're not gonna lose the ball. Our knees are perfectly sandwiching the ball. All right, we're gonna try that same sequence or a similar sequence on one foot. Of course, if you need to modify, you can go tabletop or you can tap your toe to the floor. Let's start with that eight count. Six, seven, let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, bring it down, slow. Two, three, four, five, four counts. Up, two, three, try not to lose the ball. Up, two, three, squeeze through the glutes. Two counts, up, two, down, two. Good, give me two more of these. Dig that heel into the floor, singles. Up, two, three, you got this. Four, five, six, seven, up and hold. We tap, extend. So we're working the quad here on the extension. Keep your knee locked in. Good, keep the hips high. We have four more, three more. How about two, and one. Exhale, come down. Bring those knees into the chest. Take the legs straight. Stretch out the hamstrings. All right, come back down into your starting position. Ball or no ball, we extend the left for eight counts. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, come down, eight. Nice and slow, good, four, four. Up, two, three, four, and down. Keep it going, up, two, three. How about two counts? Up, two, don't lose that ball if you have one. Good, squeeze up, nice. Singles, up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, tap it out, tap, lift, two, good, three, keep that ball, squeeze the ball, we have two more, good, one more, come down. Stretch it out. Okay, let's just take a second, get a little stretch in. Okay, my ball is, is escaping. I want you to elongate one leg. Gently pull one knee into the chest for a single leg stretch. Take a deep breath in on your exhale switch. Now, this is a neutral neck we have laying down. If you wanna add a little something, you can tuck the chin. Switch, good, give me a few more. Let's add a double pump, 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 hold, pump, pump, point the foot, pump, pump. If your neck ever starts to hurt, you see I live in a city, <laughs> so you can, you can hear what's going on the outside, good. Pull. Okay, hold it here. 
Let's extend this leg straight up. Okay, switch, gently pull that leg into your chest, switch, pull. Good, nice stretch on the hamstrings. Double pump, pull, pull. Nice scissors, two, switch, three, four, singles, five, six, seven, eight, pull it in. All right, that ball is still traveling. Let's lengthen the legs. We're gonna, we're gonna hold on to this ball in between our ankles or feet. It's up to you, okay? We're gonna support our neck if you need to by creating a pillow of sorts out of your, your arms. So I have my fingertips right underneath my head. I have my elbows on the floor and I've just propped my head up. If you can do this without your arms, so be it. And if you need to lay down, you can do that. But the reason we prop our head up is to support our lower back and to prevent it from arching while we raise our legs. And that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. So I want you to tuck the chin, look at your toes. I'm gonna give you eight counts to take this ball from this parallel position up into this vertical space, or take the legs and the ball, okay? Don't lose that ball. In, five, six, seven, two inches lift, that's your one count. Hold the ball, look at your toes. Two inches higher, that's your two. Now I want those legs as straight as they can be. So if you need to modify by bending the knees, you can do that. Otherwise, keep the legs straight. Three is a little higher. You're not quite at about a 45 degree. You're a little lower. Four, that's 45 degrees up. Five, a little higher, the legs are still straight. Six, toes are still pointed, you still have that ball. Seven, and on eight, just let the neck relax slightly. Okay, you still have that ball, right? Let's go back down the ladder. Seven, six, still straight. Five, four, straighter legs. Three, two, we're gonna hold it at one where that ball is hovering right over the floor. Hold, three, four, tuck the chin, watch the ball. Seven, relax after eight, open up the arms, expand the abs, take a few of those deep breaths that we've been working on all class. All right, round two, let's go for it. Get a good grip on that ball, tuck the chin, let's go for it. One, two, straighter legs, three, four, nice and easy, nice and slow, six, seven, back down for seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it at one. Twist the ball, eight, seven, it's like a flutter kick. Six, five, four, eyes on the ball. Three, two, relax after one. Open it up, open it up. I know you need it. Take a few of those deep breaths. <laughs> All right, do we have one more round in us? Tis the question. I don't wanna hear it, I wanna see it. So show me, go ahead and set up your ball. Ready, four, three, two, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, a little quicker. And down, eight, seven, six, straighter legs, four, three, let's go right back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and down, two, three, four, five, hold it here. We're gonna bounce the ball, one, up, two, up, eyes on the ball, four, five, six, seven, 
relax after eight. Woo! All right, come on up. How did that feel? I hope it felt good, it felt good to me. Let's just do one last thing to bring the body back and then I'll send you on your way, okay? You can place your ball aside. You're gonna turn over into a tabletop position, okay? On every inhale, I want you to round your back. Think about stretching the arms long and forcing the palms or the fingertips into your mat. On every exhale, you're going to dip your back and retract your shoulders. So do a few of those deep breaths on your own. Tucking the glutes when you round the back. Retracting the shoulders. Excellent. After your last exhale, go ahead and stretch back, bringing the, the glutes onto the heels, and then stretch your arms as far forward as you can, letting that opening happen through the shoulders, bringing your chest down to the floor. Excellent. Slide forward onto your elbows, squeeze, pull that heel into the body, Keep the shoulders back and stay propped up on your arms. Switch. We're gonna point the toe and draw that heel right into the leg. Switch for one. Again, two and three, four, five, six, seven. Can I have a double pump here? One, one, two, two. Three, you're squeezing the glutes every time you pump. Five, six, seven, relax after eight. Come back onto tabletop and then have a seat. I hope you guys had a great class today. Hope I got a little burn in on that core, which remember does include the abs and the glutes and the lower back. And I'll see you next time. Good job.